All right, listen up, hunters. I have a few demands to make that I'm sure others would agree with. I think that if these things were added, they could improve the general enjoyability of warrior cats, which would be good for my channel because it's about warrior cats. This video is all made in good spirits, and it's okay if you disagree with something, as long as you share your opinion respectfully. Anyway, on with number one. More relevant characters in clans other than ThunderClan. Most main characters have been in ThunderClan, which really makes it tiring when I get asked questions such as, Who's your favorite RiverClan cat? Which I would respond, Heavy Step, because he never let anything, even dying the first time, keep him down. In all seriousness, though, I feel like it would be nice to have cats from different clans be the main characters for once, which is why I really like the direction the Broken Code is taking. I would really like to see more relevant characters in the future from clans other than ThunderClan. Second thing, more depth from villains. There are so few actually good reasons that warrior cats are evil. Why did you try and kill this person's father and children? I had a crush on her that she didn't reciprocate two years ago. I want vengeance! It would be so amazing if warriors actually had a villain with debt. The only explanation for most evil characters and warriors is Dark Forest, blah blah blah. Mabel Shade isn't the most popular character, however I think she is actually a great evil character because I think her intentions have some sense behind them. Her mate cheated on her, that her children drowned, and she was exiled because of a dramatic medicine cat. She needed guidance and safety in a very hard time, but her mate acted like he never even knew her. I love AUs where Reed shines so saw Maple Shade trying to cross the river and helped her so that her kids didn't drown, dumped Apple Dusk and became mates with Maple Shade, and then vouched for Maple Shade and her kids to stay in River Clan. Anyway, sir, third thing, more characters with disabilities. And no, not cats that go blind and are permanently resigned to the Elder's Den, even if they are like 10 moons old. I mean, more cats that have disabilities and are like, this is who I am, and, th and I will do what I want even with it. The only characters I can think of that accomplish their dreams with disabilities are Deadfoot and Brightheart. And Brightheart never gets an apprentice. And to people that say that it is unrealistic for cats with warrior to for cats to be warriors with disabilities, this is a series marketed towards kids and teens about a group of cats in the forest with a complex society that worship the stars. I want cats that only have three legs be clan leaders, blind cats being amazing warriors. I want cats like Briarlight not feeling, not being basically useless. Aaron's, I feel like you should have done some great things with Snow Kid if you hadn't had him die. Sure, the AUs are there, but I wish that he had actually been canon, that he survived and became a warrior. Fourth and last thing, more LGBTQ characters. The only canon LGBTQ characters are, are Gay, Ravenpaw, and Barley. And Ravenpaw's dead. But you shout, it isn't realistic. See earlier point. Yes it is, animals are gay in nature all the time. I would love to see some LGBTQ characters and warriors, especially the ones that have been headcanned by the fandom as ace or trans or gay that actually have those identities. It would be a nice spin on the heteronormative view of warrior cats right now, and it would give younger readers a nice introduction to the LGBTQ community without it being the main point of the book. It doesn't even have to be the main character, although that would be nice. Anyway, those are my demands for Warrior Cats. If you have different option if you have different opinions, feel free to share them in the comments and like and subscribe. I'm sorry I sound so dead. I was super tired when I recorded this. I've begun losing subscribers ever since I posted more map parts and not stuff from my own thinking, so tell me in the comments if you want me to make more videos like this. Anyway, Otter Star out. See you guys in the next video.